Hey, boys and girls, we're back for another STEAM lesson today. So today we're going to be talking about animals that live in like Sahara or desert or very dry areas. Um, and so we're going to be talking about safari animals. And our build today is going to be to build a habitat for safari animals. Um, and you can use anything you have at your school. So you can use those Unifix cubes, those math cubes. You can use popsicle sticks, cardboard. You can use construction paper. You can use Legos, anything, anything goes, okay? But you're going to be building a habitat for one of those animals. So you're going to choose the animal and you're going to build it a habitat. So let's get right into it. Let's listen to our story, watch our video, and then we'll plan out our build, okay? Ready? Okay, here we go. I'm going to share with you my screen so that you can hear the story. Hi friends, welcome to Book Bug Storytime. Our story for today is National Geographic Kids Safari. Hello, Jumbo, let's go. I'm going on safari, what will I see? I see elephants spray, just for me. I see elephants spray on safari. I see lions play just for me. I see lions play on safari. I see rhinos run just for me. I see rhinos run on safari. Rhinos run, lions play, elephants spray. What else will I see on safari? I see giraffes eat just for me. I see giraffes eat on safari. I see zebras graze just for me. I see zebras graze on safari. I see hippos soak just for me. I see hippos soak on safari. Hippos soak, zebras graze, giraffes eat, rhinos run, lions play, elephants spray. What else will I see? I see animals all around me. On safari. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for Okay, so that was a really short book, but while the book was playing, I was writing down all the animals that they said. So they said elephants, lions, rhinoceros, giraffe, zebras, and hippos. So those are our animal choices for our build today. And then I also chose one of them to be my build. So I am drawing, well, sketching a zebra and what a zebra needs in its habitat. So I was thinking about as the book was reading about what a zebra would need to live. And so one of the things I think a zebra would definitely need is grass because they are herbivores, meaning they like to eat grass or plants. So I sketched my zebra and I sketched some grass, but I also think he's gonna need some shelter or something to hide behind it from predators. So during the video, I'm gonna be sketching what else I think my zebra needs in my habitat. So let's watch our quick video and then we'll come back to our plant. All right, let me switch screens. This is the African savanna. The savanna, also called a tropical grassland, is a large open area covered in grasses and shrubs, but not many trees. On this virtual field trip, we're off to the most famous of all savannas, the tropical savanna of Africa. Stretching through central and southern Africa, this is the biggest savanna on earth. In a savanna, the weather is warm all year round and there's lots of sunlight. The amount of water in a savanna changes throughout the year. A lot of rain falls in the wet season. 
followed by long periods with little or no rain at all. The plants and animals in a savanna have adaptations to survive these long dry periods. Despite being dry for much of the year, the African savanna is bursting with life. A great diversity of grasses cover the open plains. There are many bushes. Okay, so one animal that was in the video just now that was not in the book is a gazelle. So I'm going to add that to my list of choices. A gazelle. It's kind of like a deer, but they like sprint and they're a little bit bigger. Bushes and shrubs and sparsely scattered trees too. The African savanna is famous for its diversity of animals. From tiny termites, beetles, and butterflies to many of Earth's animal giants. Many of the animals in an African savanna are herbivores. This means they feed on plants. There's giraffes, zebras, gazelles, rhinoceroses, and elephants. Feeding on these herbivores are some of the world's best known predators. There's big cats like lions, cheetahs, and leopards. There's jackals, wild dogs, and hyenas too. Like in all habitats around our amazing planet, the plants and animals live together in a complex relationship and are all connected in the great circle of life. Oh, I love that video. It makes me want to watch The Lion King, though. Okay, so I want to show you my plan for today so you have an idea of what I'm looking for. So in this field... You're going to tell me what animal, these were our choices, elephant, lion, rhinoceros, giraffe, zebra, hippopotamus, or gazelle, okay? And then you're going to build that animal. Tell me what you're building it out of. So I chose Legos to build my zebra, okay? And you're going to build its habitat. So my zebra needs to be standing in some grass. I'm going to use green construction paper for my grass. It needs something to hide behind. So I'm going to give it a tree made out of a toilet paper tube. And then I'm going to give it some nice leafy top on the tree with green tissue paper. So this is my plan for my build. And so the rest of this time, after you ask your question, how can we build an, a savanna animal and you can give that a habitat? We've imagined our solution because we watched the video and we read a book about it. We drew our plan. So ask, imagine, plan. So our next step is to create. And so I'm going to end my video here because now you know what it is that I need you to do to create your build today. I hope you have so much fun with this. Make sure you take pictures. I want to see your creations. All right. Thanks.